Welcome to our workshop. We are going to talk today about basic hand tools for model ship kit makers. There are only a few basic tools required to get started on your first kit, like one from the mini Mamoli series. As you progress you will of course find the need for more and better tools. Most of these tools are reasonably priced and are within modest budgets. Over time, the items will get bigger and better as does the cost factor. So, don't be intimidated by the tools here. In our workshop, all of the tools are available at hardware stores, hobby shops, chemists or online. So, what do you need to start with? A small modeling hammer. Essential if you intend to nail the hull planks. Many builders don't use nails or use them only as temporary pinning before removing them. 300 mm, 12 inch, steel rule. Double measurements as some conversion from imperial to metric will be necessary. Transparent plastic rulers are also handy to have. Tweezers, big and small. You can never have enough of these. Pliers. Like tweezers they are useful for all types of jobs and because they are cheap it's easy to gather a large collection. Locable forceps, essential for rigging and useful as a general clamp. Needle files, another item which just seem to multiply. There are many shapes and sizes which are all used at some time but in truth the only ones from the collection below that get regular usage are the red handled ones. Scissors and various cutters, most builders will eventually amass a large collection of these. Hobby knives, make sure they have the metal clits. Some have plastic clits which are inferior and dangerous. Scalpels are great for delicate work but take care when changing blades. Spare blades are available at model shops or on eBay as a bulk item. Box cutter with snap-off blades, ideal for heavy duty cutting. Ensure that the blades are held firmly in the slide and the locking mechanism is reliable. Don't be fooled these are extremely sharp. Safety ruler. This ruler has a handle and is used for cutting planks lengthways. The handle prevents you cutting the end of your fingers as can easily be done with an ordinary steel rule. Essential for safety, razor saw and additional blades. It's a good idea to store the blades with the teeth embedded in a piece of scrap also wood for protection. Small block plane used to plane plank edges. Various shaped blocks of wood to make up sanding strips and blocks. As you can see the ones pictured have been well used and were made of off cuts from under the workbench or the scrap bin. Various grades of sandpaper, coarse 30 grade to 400 WND are available from all hardware stores. Various small artist type paint bushes, good quality brushes for painting and cheaper ones for spreading white glue etc. Available from hobby shops and artist supply stores. A variety of plastic and metal clamps. Even the humble clothes peg is useful on occasions. These types of clamps are cheap and necessary so when the opportunity arises, buy lots, even more clamps. The number of different shape and size clamps is enormous and at some stage all of the pictured clamps have been used. Glues, Caslo set for timber work, Kafas set for rigging, Carpenter's glue, white or yellow for woodworking. Watered down carpenter's glue 50-50 can be used for rigging work in place of the facet. The different brands of glue are almost endless and most builders have personal preferences. Micro drill set and pin vise. These drill bits are essential when it comes to drilling pilot holes for a number of items such as nails, dead eyes etc. The clits on the pin vise must close down to zero. Engraver, 12 volt DC. All engravers must have zero clits for use with micro drills. Clits for this machine range from 0 to about 3 mm capability. It is light and easy to handle. It offers fingertip control so there is no need to have it running before placing onto the job. The quick fingertip turn off is a plus in the event of a problem. These engravers can be used with a variable speed controller such as a model train speed control. Train speed controllers usually have forward and reverse a very handy feature for power carving. Engravers can be used for sanding. Cutting, grinding, carving etc. All 12 volt DC tools require an adapter pack. Home handyman drill bits. A set of bits which increase in size by 0.5 mm increments is best. The two wood bits pictured on the right are used to very carefully drill holes in the deck for the masts. The rubber collars are vital as depth gauges. Machinist squares. A good way to ensure that the first bulkhead is absolutely true and if nothing else a good machinist square is needed to check that the angle of the aluminum squares is exactly 90 degrees. Jeweler's snips for cutting brass sheet. 
probably not essential for your first kit build but as the kits become more complex this type of tool becomes very useful. Dial or digital vernier clippers, essential for checking plank thickness and rigging diameter. Wood snips, good for a quick and accurate cutting of strip wood. Be careful not to damage the blade. Mini hacksaw, a cheap and useful tool for cutting light metals. Modeller's vise, a good quality mini vise makes it much easier to hold small items. Soft jaws will protect the work from being damaged. Multi-holder with magnifying glass, excellent for tying rigging knots which can be very tiring on the fingers and eyes. This concludes the basic starters kit. It is a general overview and certainly not all of the tools are in the must have or need straight away category. On many occasions you can and will get by with less but eventually you will be likely to need or want much of the above and more. For some people collecting tools becomes as much a passion as model building does.